Next is duplicate, and that's a given. You just touch it and it makes more. After that is connecting the lines, and that's basically you touch any of these little dots and connect it to another dot somewhere else, and it'll connect them for you. But for some reason, I don't know why this line came out really thin. But that didn't, so I don't really use this either. Delete line is an obvious one too, just deletes your lines. Um, and the last one is angle toggle. It just, oh, let's see. It basically makes everything more pointy when you touch the dots. I don't know if it does anything else. This is all I could figure out. Okay, so let's change the width to something small. Oh, let's make it a different color. Let's make it black. Okay, change it to a different color. Go over here again, and you're going to make a regular layer, and then set the mode, blend mode, to multiply. Click the select tool, go back to your vector layer. Oops, I don't have all my lines connected. Get the pen tool and connect the line that you see that is missing, blah, blah, blah. This is how I do it anyway. Okay, so go back to the top layer, pick the select tool, did it backwards. Go back to the vector layer, select the area, then go to the color, the color layer, which is my top layer always. You can either do the pen tool, which will most likely fill in everything for you, even more, even better than the paint bucket for some reason it just has better accuracy and what I love about Psy select tool is that you can deselect any area that you want and just draw over here and then select the areas that you want again if you went out like the space or something okay so <clears throat> we'll fill it a different color green favorite of all colors. Okay, so there you have that. Let's make it skin color so I can show you how I do my skin. We're going to make another layer, set it to multiply, and it's a regular layer. Uh, pick some kind of color that you want for the shadow, and just color where you want your shadows to go. Boobies. Okay. The water tool is really nice because it blends really nice and I think I'm pretty sure that you've played with this but I love how it blends if you want to, you know, make something really cool looking. And the airbrush is the airbrush and I don't really use it that often but sometimes it's nice for gradients. And then I make another layer, also multiply, get a pink color, airbrush again, and make blush. And then I get the eraser. I want to make little shinies on the blush layer. If I accidentally go out the line, which I won't happen here because of this area selected, but let's say that I did the blush without the select tool on and it went outside the lines, I just go to the vector layer where my lines are at, select the outside, go back to the blush layer, and then erase around it, which is easy. Um. I think that's all the special stuff that I figured out on here. I don't really use the blur tool or the crayon paper, acrylic, all these weird things. And obviously I work at 300 dpi so this image is this huge up close, but when you zoom out it obviously looks completely different. That's my tutorial for you my friend, and I hope you enjoyed my very very boring voice. Thank you.